Okay, so today we went and bought two LED spotlights. They were quite cheap, so I thought I'd do a review between the two cheap ones and a more expensive 30 watt LED spotlight that I bought about a year ago. Okay, so on the left we have a 50 watt LED spotlight. It has apparently an IP65 rating and it was quite cheap and on the right hand side we have the box of a 30 watt LED spotlight that was cheap and the spotlight that you see there is actually the, ex the expensive 30 watt spotlight that I bought a year ago. Unfortunately I've already installed the cheap 30 watt spotlight so we can't really tear it down. Okay so here are the two spotlights lying on their faces. This is the expensive 30 watt spotlight and this is the cheap 50 watt spotlight. As you can see the more expensive one has quite deep fins to cool down the LED while the cheap one really has small pathetic fins. I don't think that heat sink will cool the 50 watt LED quite as effectively as these fins. Okay so the more expensive 30 watt LED spotlight has a brand name called Luma Glow and because this is the spotlight that I normally use for my videos it has a just a piece of PVC pipe that I use to mount it to a speaker stand. The cheap 50 watt LED spotlight doesn't even really have a brand name it just says 50 watt the power rating and LED floodlight on it. So this is the inside of the 30 watt LED spotlight. Unfortunately I have um, hacked it a little bit and used it to create a strobe light that can be controlled via DMX so all these things weren't here when I got it. Uh, originally it only had this power brick. Now this power brick is quite large, unfortunately you won't be able to read the sticker here. It's a meanwhile power supply that goes from I think it's constant current and it is a 32.4 watt power supply with 900 milliamps of current and 26 to 32 volts of uh, DC. Okay, so the cheap 50 watt LED spotlight uses an unbranded power supply. I don't know how many amps or volts it can supply, but uh, it's much smaller than the other one. Okay, it's maybe not easy to see, but this is the most that the cover will open because the cables are so short. You can't really lift the cover at all. Okay, so both of these spotlights are actually insanely bright. You may not be able to see this on camera, but the smaller 50 watt LED spotlight is actually a little bit brighter than the 50 watt cheapo LED spotlight. Now there may be a bunch of reasons why this uh, more expensive one is more bright than the 50 watt LED spotlight. One which is the physical cables going from the power supply to the LED chip are a lot thicker than the ones on the 50 watt LED power supply so I think there may be a large voltage drop even in that small distance between the LED chip and the LED driver. Okay so this is the 50 watt cheap LED spotlight and as you can see it actually has five rows of 10 LEDs each. I believe those are each one watt LEDs if their specifications are correct. Okay, so here is the expensive 30 watt LED spotlight. It has three rows of 10 LEDs each, and I believe those are 1 watt LEDs. Okay, so this is the reason why we had to buy new spotlights. We have two of these, and they both got hit by lightning. These are actually LED spotlights, but they are really old and they use 
actual 5mm LEDs. On the inside of the circuitry everything is just fried. Now these spotlights actually lasted quite a while. We installed them in 2010 and they've worked until now. We've recently had a lightning storm and that just blew the crap out of them. So on the right side you have the cheap 30 watt LED spotlights permanently mounted. On the left side on the top you have the expensive 30 watt LED spotlight that we just took apart and at the bottom we have the 50 watt cheap LED spotlight. As you can see the 30 watt LED spotlight is the weakest of the three and between the 50 watt cheap LED spotlight and the expensive 30 watt LED spotlight they are more or less the same.